Induction cooking is faster and more energy efficient than traditional cooking and allows instant control of cooking energy similar to gas burners. The heat is generated directly in the pan, keeping the cooking surface cooler than a traditional element. The element of an induction cooktop is a powerful high-frequency electromagnet. When a sizable piece of magnetic material is placed in the magnetic field that the element is generating, the field transfers or induces energy into that metal. That transferred energy causes the metal to become hot, which then heats its contents. The surface of the cooktop is heated only by contact with the pan. Nothing outside the pan is affected by the field. And as soon as the pot or pan is removed from the element or the element turned off, heat generation stops. Food spilled on the cooktop surface will not burn because the glass is not heated, allowing for immediate cleaning after use. Regular cleaning before and after each use will help keep it free from stains and provide the most even heating. Induction cooktops have sensors that detect how much ferrous metal is in the area that the magnetic field would occupy. And if it isn't at least as much as would be in a small pot, then they don't turn on. Metal cooking utensils or metal jewelry that may be magnetic aren't significant enough to transfer energy. So there will be no consequences as a result of the induction cooktop, even if turned on. However, people with pacemakers or similar medical devices should use care when standing near induction cooktops while on. The electromagnetic field may affect the pacemaker or similar device. Consult your doctor or the manufacturer of the pacemaker or similar medical device for additional information about its effects with electromagnetic fields of the induction cooktop. Pan material, size, and positioning is very important to achieve maximum wattage. Only ferromagnetic pans or those that can sustain a magnetic field can be used for induction cooking. Ferromagnetic materials include enameled steel, cast iron, and stainless steel designed for induction cooking. Induction cooking doesn't work with some stainless steels, glass or pyrex, ceramic, copper, and aluminum. To find out whether your pans can be used with an induction cooktop, turn the pan over and hold a magnet to the bottom of the pan. The pan is induction compatible if the magnet holds firmly to the pan. Select the element that closely matches the size of the pan you wish to use. The diameter of the pan's base should not extend more than one half inch or 1.3 centimeters outside the element. If the pan is too small, the element won't activate. If the pan is too large, the part of the pan outside the element won't heat properly. Using flat-bottomed cookware of medium to heavy thickness with straight sides and a well-fitting lid will provide the best heating conduction and energy efficiency. Cookware with rounded, warped, or dented bottoms could cause uneven heating and poor cooking results. To ensure your cookware is flat, place the straight edge of a ruler across the bottom of the cookware. Then, rotate the ruler to ensure you don't see any space or light between it and the cookware. Now let's discuss some of the different sounds you may hear as part of normal operation. A low humming occurs when cooking at high power and is normal for induction cooking. This is caused by the amount of energy that is transmitted from the appliance to the cookware and the sound will quiet or go away when the power is turned down. A crackling sound can occur when cookware of different materials is used. This noise is caused by vibrations in between the different layers and can also vary depending on the amount and type of food being cooked. Cookware can also make a variety of sounds when residual moisture or condensation gets trapped within the pan or on the bottom and boils off while in contact with a flat cooktop. The electronics of an induction cooktop require a controlled temperature in order to function reliably, which is independent of the temperature setting of the elements themselves. To control the temperature of the electronics, the cooktop is fitted with a fan that runs at various speeds according to the temperature detected. The fan may also continue to run even after the cooktop has been switched off if the temperature detected is too high. 
The following are some helpful hints regarding use and maintenance of an induction cooktop. To avoid scratching, don't slide cookware or bakeware across the cooktop and avoid using pans with rough finishes. Make sure the bottoms of pots and pans are clean and dry before using them because residue and water can leave deposits when heated. This concludes our overview of induction cooking. You're now ready to enjoy faster and more energy efficient performance than traditional cooktops with